Hi, Assalamualaikum. Hello boys and girls. A very good morning to everyone. And welcome back to our science class with me, Madam Sarah. So today we are going to learn about another subtopic in Unit 3 which is Big and Small. So for today's lesson, we are going to look at a new subtopic in unit 3, page 24. Muka surat 24. So, let's look at our learning objective for today. At the end of the lesson, you should know the difference between big and small. So, mesti tahu perbezaan antara big and small. Okay, so in this video, I'll be covering two success criteria. Okay, now let's read them together. The first one, state the size of the living things. Mesti tahu sebut size living things. Contoh, cikgu tunjuk gambar pokok kelapa. So, you should know the size of pokok kelapa tu kecil ke besar. And then, the size of pokok cili. Contoh, pokok cili tu kecil ke besar? Alright, and number two, arrange from small to big and from big to small. Arrange means susun. So, you're going to have a few pictures of living things and you need to arrange susun from small to big ataupun from big to small. Okay. So, are you ready to start our lesson? Okay. So, first you need to know the terms. Okay. Big. Big means besar. Big. Big. For example, the elephant is big. The elephant is big. Okay. The second term, small. Small. Small means kecil. Okay. So, the mouse is small. The elephant is big, but the mouse is small. Gajah tu besar, tikus tu kecil. Okay, you should know the difference. Big and small. Okay, so can you name another animal that is big and small? Go ahead and try. Okay, so teacher nak... You name three big animal and three small animal. Write down in your exercise book. Buku tulis science tu, you write down three big animal. Sebelah dia, three small animals. Okay. Next one. Now, let's look at the picture in page 24 of your textbook. Okay. So, there are... In the safari. Safari tu satu kawasan macam dalam cerita Lion King tu. Okay, so there are lots of animal in the safari. We have one, two, three, four, five animals. Okay, so before we arrange them into small and big, you need to know their names. Mesti tahu dulu itu haiwan apa. Okay, so we're going to start with the easiest one. Ha, tengok yang ini, animal apa. I think everyone knows, semua orang kenal. What animal is this? Okay. It is elephant. Elephant. Gajah. Okay. So, the second animal. Look at this animal. Macam kucing. Macam leopard. Macam cheetah pun ada. Ha. So, what kind of animal is this? Okay. So, this animal is a wild cat. Wild cat ataupun kucing. Hutan. Okay, let's look at the third animal. Look at this picture. What animal is this? Dia ada tanduk. Ha. Okay, so this one is deer. Deer. Rusa. Okay, let's look at the next animal. Here. It looks like cow. Macam lembu. But this is not cow. It is bigger than cow. Dia lebih besar. Lepas tu belakang badan dia ada macam ham. Ada macam bonggol. Okay, so what animal is this? Okay, this is gaur. Or also known as Indian bison. Kadang-kadang kita panggil gaur. Kadang-kadang kita panggil dia bison. Or in BM, in bahasa, we call it seladang. Ha. 
Dia macam lembu but then it's not lembu. It is seladang. Okay, and this tiny little animal ah, yang kat bawah ni. Okay, so this one is, the smallest one is red. Red. Okay, so we have five animal. Repeat after me. Elephant, wild cat, deer, red, gown. Okay, so tadi kita ada big and small. Now I want you to state the size of the animal. Okay, contoh kalau teacher cakap elephant, big ke small? Elephant, big, betul. Hmm, gown, big. Okay, good. Wild cat, small, very good. Red, small, dia, big. Ah, jadi, you have to know the size of the animal. Tak adalah awak ingatkan elephant tu besar macam ni je. Padahal elephant tu is very big. Besar. Okay. So, by doing this activity, you have covered your first success criteria which is state the size of the living thing. Awak tahu size elephant tu mesti besar, mouse tu mesti kecil. Ha, okay, very good. Now, we're going to go to our second activity. Okay, in our second activity, we need to arrange, we need to arrange the animal from big to small. Big tadi besar, small is kecil. So, you need to arrange. Kita nak susun daripada besar ke kecil. Okay. So, here we have those five animals and yang paling besar, the biggest animal, what is it? Ding, elephant. So, the biggest one here is elephant. Okay, kecil sikit daripada elephant. What is it? Is it deer or gaur? Very good. Gaur is the second animal. Lepas tu, yang kecil sikit daripada gaur. Sebab kita nak susun daripada besar kepada kecil. Okay, yang slightly smaller than gaur. Is it cat or deer? Mm -mm. Okay, very good. Deer. And after deer, we will have wild cat. And lastly, the smallest one yang paling kecil sekali, we have red. Okay, so good job everyone. <coughs> okay, so now let's arrange the animal from small to big. From small to big. Daripada yang kecil kepada yang besar. Okay, so remember we have five animals. We have gaur, deer, elephant, rat and wild cat. Kita nak susun daripada yang paling kecil kepada yang paling besar. Can you do that? Okay, so pause this video and arrange the animal. After you are done, dah siap, play balik video teacher ni. We check the answer together. Okay? Okay, so are you done? Let's check your answer. Okay, small. We start with red. After that, we have... Wild cat. Very good. Lepas wild cat, we have deer. Okay. And then we have gar. And the biggest one, yang paling besar tadi apa? Alpha. Yay. Good job. You did a great job, everyone. Okay, so by that activity, we have covered our second success criteria which is arrange from small to big and from big to small. Kita dah berjaya susun daripada kecil ke besar dan juga daripada besar ke kecil. Okay, so now that you have learned about size, big and small, let's do some activity. Let's do some homework. So, your task for this week is to complete your activity book, page 16. Buku activity, muka surat 16. Selamat mencuba. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!